Hi, I'm Lottie Verbeek, and you're watching Outlandish. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Outlandish. I'm Marlies. And I'm Elise. And how cool was that shout out from Lottie Verbeek? So not a witch. I know, absolutely <laughs> not. But we're going to have a little bit more from Lottie a little later on in the episode. Right now we're going to be reviewing episode 112, Lolly Rock. But first, a little recap. Jamie and Claire make their way to Lollybrock. Lollybrock, Lollybrock, oh lolly, 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 Lollybrock. Claire reveals to Jamie that she's a frequent flyer. She also reveals that she's older than Jamie. Ooh, cougar. <laughs> Come to mama. Oh, yeah. Jamie's having throwback Thursday of the last time he was at Lollybrock. And the whooping he got from Blackjack. Jamie thinks that his sister had Randall's bastard child. At the gates of Lollybrook, Jamie meets wee Jamie and calls Jenny a hoe. Ooh, but Jenny says, I ain't no hoe. Turns out Randall was not the baby daddy, it was Peg Leg Ian. And then she calls Claire a hoe. Cat fight, Jerry Springer style. Jenny threatens to grab Jamie by the bollocks. Not in front of my wife. She's more familiar with your bowls than I am. Playing marbles, Frasier style. Over wine, Jenny recounts her last encounter with Blackjack Randall. After giving Jamie a whooping, Randall takes her up to the bedroom. She tries to fight him off! And then he whips out his... What is that? Spotted dick? I spotted dick. Oi, not kosher, I see. Looks like a little old man with a turtleneck. Slapjack Randall. The incredible Mr. Limpet. Wobbly willy. Hello, Mr. Floppy. He really is half nuts. I think you could use a little blue pill. <laughs> okay, we beat that to death. That's what she said. Jamie tells Claire of the last time he saw his father. And what went down at Fort William, or rather, what came up. Blackjack Randall wanted Jamie! Well, who could blame him? Be my bitch and we'll call it even. Ouch! Although the wounds from Jamie's previous lashings were still fresh, Jamie just thought of his father. And refused to drop the suit. So Jamie gets flogged in the square. His father watches, unable to help. His father goes down, he dies. Jamie blames himself. Oh. Jamie is now laired at Brock Jarrah. He is cock of the walk. It's quarter day and the tenants are bringing their rent. Jamie is feeling his oats as laired. So he's given the rent back. Even though they have debt upon debt. And he's being bossy to his sister. She is not the warmest and fuzziest person mm -mm. around. So Claire slaps some sense into him. Snap out of it! Or you're gonna lose everything. The mill isn't working, so Jamie has to investigate. In the only way he knows how. Without his <laughs> kilt on. Nice glutes. Redcoats come, Jamie hides underwater. The redcoats investigate. Suddenly, the mill starts working. Jamie's shirt saves the day. Which means... <gasps> he's, he's not wearing anything! Oh, he can cover it all with one hand. That's a disappointment. <laughs> the water was cold. True, shrinkage. Nearly snapped his off. Boy, that's a mouthful. I'm not touching that. I would. <laughs> Jamie and Jenny visit father's grave. Jamie makes peace with his sister. He promises to consult her in the future. Jenny apologizes to Jamie. It was my fault. Jamie says, no, it was my fault. No, it was totally my no, fault. No, really, it was mine. No, I am to blame. It is my fault. You're right. It was your fault. What? Jenny blamed Jamie for their father's death. But she hadn't realized what Jamie endured. Jenny blamed herself for not giving in to Randall. But they both agree Randall's the devil. It was his fault. He's a total f Claire feels so at home at Lollybrock. Jamie tells Claire that he's wanted her from the first moment he saw her. Aye, he wanted that lovely round arse. He likes big butts and he cannot lie. He says, I love you. She says, I love you. They love each other. They finally said it. We never doubted it for a minute. The next morning, Claire goes downstairs for breakfast. And sees Jamie being held by gunpoint. <gasps> Wow, 
Wow, holy homecoming. <laughs> oh my god, full frontal nudity on Outlander. I think this whole episode was a little Dickensian. It was. But despite all the nudity, oh my goodness, that scene in the window was so romantic. Yes, it was beautiful, where they finally professed their love for each other. And I think I was reading a lot of the fans' comments as they were wondering when that was going to happen. Yeah, we all thought that they might have said it already. Well, interestingly, because, because of how the emotion they've been showing towards each other. Yeah, a little passion there. I thought for sure we've heard it, but I guess this was the true profession of love. Yes, and now you see why Jamie is not afraid to take on a sassy woman like Claire because he's yes, got his funky sister little Jenny. Jenny at home. Boy, I don't know. Oh. I'm, 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 my judgment is out on her yet. But with everything going on this episode, it's easy to forget the little boy. Oh, that was so. It was so. Oh, moving. it was. It was heartbreaking to see how he'd been, you know, beaten by his father, yeah. and then them wanting to take him under and their wing. And Claire wings. goes straight to Jenny to say, "Help me with this." And I think that was a good bonding. Yes, I think she's them. trying to definitely show her reverence and, you know, and yeah. go to her for Well, and they're help. sorting out the whole pecking order at home. It's, it's true. It's, yes, yeah. exactly. But yeah. then they have their scene over the father's grave where they reconcile, yet they're still squabbling. Yeah, they've got that sibling bickering thing oh, going yeah, on. yeah, yeah. And you know that's not going to go away. <laughs> I want to say thank you to Lottie Verbeek, who at the top of our episode gave us a shout out. I miss Gayless Duncan. We already <laughs> miss her. She was so brilliant in The Devil's Mark last oh, week. Oh, that performance was extraordinary. It really was outstanding. And we we had the good fortune to run into Lottie at the Brit Week red carpet this week and we asked her a few questions and this is what she had to say. Yes. We do a recap show called Outlandish. Oh, that's great. I've heard of it, actually. We have to congratulate you on the Devil's Mark episode because you were absolutely stunning, brilliant in that. Thank you so much. It's great writing, and Katrina is amazing to work with, and uh, Mike Barker, the director, was fantastic, so we just had an amazing time. And I know a lot of the, 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 book, the, the book readers already know, but, you know, without giving us any spoilers, are we going to see you again? Because we just don't want to say goodbye to Galus. I know, it's really hard. I also don't want to say goodbye to Galus. Um, well, I mean, there's eight books, so, and it is a time travel piece, so I guess you never know. You had some insane pregnancy makeup on. It was really real. I mean, I've never been pregnant, but that felt like, I felt really maternal, um, even though I do some crazy stuff being pregnant. So, um, but yeah, that was two hours in, in makeup every day to, to stick the belly on and then to, to add all the little details, little veins, little uh, freckles and, you know, all the details. And that made it so real. So, and, you know, obviously there's a lot of movement. There's a lot of physical activity. Also, the episode before when I'm dancing naked in the forest with the belly. Um, so that was all rehearsed. And stuff. What was your most favorite ex experience making Outlander? Was it the cast and the crew, the gorgeous scenery? What was it? Um, I would say all of it, actually. But yeah, the people that I worked with were amazing. Uh, Ron, his wife, Terry, the costume designer, all the producers, Sam, Cat, Tobias, I mean, Graham, everybody, really. And uh, it's really from the top down. Everybody was just so genuine and kind and so creative and so just fun and lovely. So I was really lucky. Well, thank you so much for talking to us, Lottie. We actually got to hang with Lottie at the party. Yeah, for a little while, and she, yeah. she told us a little bit about her background, and she is really quite an accomplished theater actress yes, from Holland. Yes, very so. impressive, and we yeah. wish her all the best of luck. And she did give us a little hint as to whether or not she's going to be back on Outlander, but uh, we won't say anything right now. So thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Outlandish. And follow us on Twitter, at Anglophile TV, hashtag Outlandish. And when you leave a comment, your name will go in the cauldron to potentially win this Outlandish DVD set. As well as some other goodies. Yes, because Stars has sent us some more goodies and we'll have more prizes to offer you in the coming weeks. We'll see you again next week. I'm Marlies. And I'm Elise. And we're Outlandish. Outlandish.